Good morning. I'm Kathy Fox, and I'm an assistant pastor at Redeemer Church, and I'm involved with pastoral care and administration. It's so great to see you this morning and to be a part of this morning prayer. We're going to have a few minutes together just to share a, a devotional, and then we'll go into some personal prayer time, and then I will come back and we'll have some corporate prayer. So this morning, I just wanted to share with you something from a devotion book that um, I read that really meant a lot to me, just talking about life and the storms that we can get into. This is a story about a young couple that was sailing out in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, a storm suddenly came up. And uh, over a couple of days, it just uh, washed them out to sea very far, isolated them, they didn't have water or food. They prayed. The situation got worse. They prayed again. And as the wife prayed that second time with perseverance and endurance, she looked up and for a moment she thought she was hallucinating. She saw a cross coming across the horizon. And she spoke out to her husband, look, this can't be. I must be hallucinating. But he too saw it. But it turned out to be the cross was a masthead of a large yacht and indeed a rescue was coming and so they were so happy when they met up with the owner of the yacht and like oh how fortunate that you spotted us only to find out it really was a divine intervention because that yacht was on automatic pilot for hours and this yacht came 10 miles off its stated course to bring a rescue to them. That is just a wonderful story of God's rescue to us and his delight and when we are caught in storms and we all get caught in storms of various kinds. When we pray, the Lord is so faithful to answer our prayers. And this couple had a very simple prayer in the middle of this desperate situation. Lord, save us. Lord, save us. God understands the most simplest prayer and time of distress. And so this was a real miraculous event that causes me just to reflect and think about uh, times that we get into storms. And I want to talk a little bit about just pointing out the answer came a couple of days later. It wasn't apparent to this couple in the story, for example, right away. The ship that was coming to rescue uh, it was not even apparent on the horizon, but the answer was on its way. And that's how it is with God. His timing is different than ours. And God uses storms. He uses trials and tribulations to build our faith and to help us to persevere. And that is just, that is part of our journey. And being a disciple of Christ does not make us immune from storms of any kind. If we look in uh, Matthew we could clearly see the disciples in a storm with Christ. Matthew 8, 23 to 25, and referring to Jesus, then he got into the boat and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus, he was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us, we're about to drown. There is that simple prayer again that the Lord so readily hears. He delights in us and rescues us. He walks us through storms. And I just wanted to um, share a couple of things just in terms of uh, types of storms that we can encounter. Well, first of all, we can encounter those that are in the natural world we live in, just uh, like the one that rose up with the disciples or with the a uh, couple in the story that I shared, those natural storms. The disciples experience a storm following Jesus. So that can happen, even be right in sync with him and encounter a storm. So it's important to know that they're coming and how to respond to those. There's other storms that, uh, let's face it, sometimes we help create them or at least escalate them. Uh, we let ourselves down or we let other people down. or um, So we create trials for ourselves in hard situations sometimes. We need uh, to be navigating out of that properly as well. So our response is very important. 
Um, and so uh, another kind of storm that I would mention is the kind when perhaps somebody close to you um, creates a storm or trial in your life. Someone else, irregardless of your interaction, creates a storm and you're close enough to that situation where you feel the rain, you see the lightning, and you hear the thunder, and you're very much a part of that storm. And so these situations all require forgiveness to navigate through those. And forgiveness is huge. You hear the Lord speak about it in his word many, many times, forgiven seven times 70, just um, forgiving others. And so one of the things that I just really wanted to bring out in this devotional is um, readily asking for forgiveness. So we stay uh, in a good relationship with the Lord, not harboring sin, that we forgive others and we forgive ourselves. And sometimes the others part is very hard and sometimes to forgive ourselves is the, the hardest part. But forgiveness is the key to navigating through a storm. Receiving God's forgiveness in any area that we have fallen short and we all fall short. Forgiving others for whatever wound or hurts. And you know, sometimes that is just being willing to be willing. Uh, some of these things that happen, you know, humanity can hardly bear some of the things that happen in the earth. But if we are just willing to be willing to forgive, the Lord will meet us there and help us navigate through those. And so I just wanted to encourage you to um, just know that forgiveness changes the trajectory of your life. It can change you from perhaps taking a route towards bitterness to a better life. It can put you in places that you could not go otherwise. And so I just want to close with this with this story, just knowing that God is faithful in any storm we encounter. And just we are thankful to him and for the Lord that he is. And so now we're going to go to a time of uh, personal prayer. And you'll see some bullet points here in a minute. And we'll just have a chance to uh, have some reflections and personal time I encourage you to think about any storms in your life that uh, you may be facing now or maybe there's a residue of a storm previously that you just allow the Lord to work in your heart knowing that he worketh all things for good and that he is helping you navigate even the roughest storm there is. And after we have personal prayer time, we will come back and I'll see you in a few minutes and we'll do a little bit of a corporate prayer. There's a name with power to redeem Tearing separation at the seams Offer love through glory aside Shall fly. 
start he held the final word Gospel to 
So we're back for a time of corporate prayer, and we want to just lift up those in Redeemer Church, those in our circle of influence, those in the community. And there's many needs out there, many people hurting and going through storms and looking for some relief. So we just really want to be faithful in praying for those. So, Lord God, I just come before you and I just thank you that you hear our prayer. I thank you that you are faithful to hear us, Lord God. You love us and delight in you, Lord God. So I thank you. And Lord, I just lift up um, Redeemer Church to you right now, Lord, that this be a church that you can use to bless people, to influence people, to share the gospel in a mighty way, Lord God. That this church be a place of encouragement. It be a place where all feel welcome and feel close to you as they come into these uh, services, Lord, and on this campus. And I just thank you for that. I thank you, Lord God, that you're working in marriages in this community, Lord God, where the world just tests and uh, brings so many trials and families and marriages. So I just lift up marriages that you strengthen those here at the church and in the community, Lord God. I pray that the busyness not overtake them, that they marriages, they have time together, husband and wife and families, Lord God. I pray that you strengthen them. I pray, Lord God, for um, pastors in the area. I pray that they just have time themselves to uh, spend time in the Word and to boldly bring the Word to the congregation. Lord God, I thank you for children and teenagers and young adults, Lord God, that are struggling in a world where values can be so distorted. And I pray, Lord God, you strengthen them in the faith, Lord, and that you encourage them and just infuse your word into them, Lord God. I just thank you for the people and um, a circle of influence within Redeemer Church and the community, Lord, that we have the opportunity to share the love of Christ with. In your holy name, I pray, and you have a blessed day today. Amen.